The long-awaited, highly anticipated, no screw Saturday video on free run that nobody asked for is here. I just want to talk about this because it has been months now since free run has become the number one anime on my anime list. I totally dismissed it initially because I for sure thought the Full Metal Alchemist fans are gonna come review bomb it like they always do and they're gonna bring it back to number one. But no, free run is actually retaining the number one spot and it's been months. Obviously, I also watched the series, and you know what? It was pretty damn good. Definitely not best anime of all time, but still very enjoyable. I like the character dynamics a lot. My favorite part was easily this scene right here. Goaded. That being said, I also noticed uh, a lot of feet shots in there. You know what I'm saying? Was, was Dan Schneider on the board? And a huge shout out to the classic stepsister get stuck in the washing machine pose. But the craziest thing is this was actually a studio madhouse anime. For those of you who don't know, my favorite anime studio of all time. Which unfortunately kind of fell off in the late 2010s and early 2020s. But at their peak, these guys made absolute masterpieces. These are the only six anime I've ever given a 10 out of 10 to. And if you ignore the fact that half of them are Yu-Gi-Oh, you'll see the rest of them are all madhouse productions. Redline's basically the greatest film of all time and it has the most amazing animation you'll ever see. We don't talk about season 2, but season 1 of One Punch Man to this day is a masterpiece. And of course, greatest anime of all time. But that's not even all. These guys did Death Note, an all-time classic. Hajime no Ippo, bro, the greatest sports anime ever. Anytime I talk about Hajime no Ippo is an excuse to bust out my most prized possession. The anime sells. I literally own a physical piece of my favorite anime studio of all time. And you won't believe this. They also did season one of Beyblade. Also a massive fan. So all of this to say, I am extremely glad to finally see Studio Madhouse back into the mainstream. They still got it. I also wrote an absolute slammer of a blog on NoSchoolSaturday.com. Go check it out.